Hey, how's it going, everybody? You keep fine for it, and yeah, another video today. Holy shit! But I'm here with some more little car discussion slash reviews for you guys. We're gonna go over the new vampire support coming out in Shadow Spectres, which I'm quite excited for because it's something I've been waiting for was more vampire stuff. Because I think this is pretty cool, and I'm glad that they're showing this archetype the vampire some love. So we got six cards going for the Michelle Inspectors, maybe more, because we still don't know all the cards in this pack uh, as of right now. But until then, this is what we have to work with, and I cannot wait for these guys to get on Dev Pro uh, because this is going to be quite fun fiddling with them. So let's get started with Vampire Sorcerer. So it's a level four zombie, of course, uh, 1500 attack, 1500 defense. If this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add one dark vampire monster or one vampire spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. You can normal summon one dark vampire monster this turn without tributing. So it pretty much allows you to summon any vampire you want. That is freaking crazy. And I like the fact that when it's destroyed by battle, you get to search a vampire monster or a vampire spell or trap card so it's not level restrictive and the fact that you can search our spells and traps really makes it a versatile card so I really can't so I really like this card and I think he pretty much will be played in threes in the, in the deck next up we have shadow vampire this actually looks pretty cool it kind of reminds me of a shadow of the colossus type of deal I don't know y'all get that behind with this card the way it looks got like shadow of the colossus you know you can picture I forgot the name of the character, you know, you like you play the game, climbing up the freaking giants, trying to kill them. It just kind of, because I just think of it when I see this. So it's level 5, 2,000 attack, 0 defense. When this card is normal summoned, special in one dark vampire monster from your hand or deck, except for himself. Whew! If you do, monsters you control other than that monster cannot declare an attack this turn. This card cannot be used as an Xe material for an Xe summon, except for the Xe summon of a dark monster. So, I'm glad they put that restriction there, because, oh man, can you imagine the amount of stupidity this thing can go into? If it was just, go if you can allow, if you can go to any dark, any follow rank 5 Xe monster? Man, Focusaurus, uh, Crimson Shadow Ninja, I think he is not dark, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so... He's still a pretty damn good monster. The fact that you can special him a vampire monster from your deck. That it's like really no cost at all. It's really mind-boggling. And it opens up a rank a lot of good plays into the deck. Uh, one of the coaches you can almost definitely get is, of course, your uh, Vampire Lord, which is a fantastic card. I love Vampire Lord. Uh, I just recently, I just I was playing in my room and I just found my Vampire Lord. I'm looking for my Genesis as well. Uh, cause now I kinda, cause I kinda wanna try Genesis, on uh, the deck, because I'm interested in see how he will work in Vampires now, uh, if he'll be any good anymore. Or, uh, well, he really wasn't always, he wasn't really the best card in the world, but you know what I mean, if he's improved. With this new stuff. Uh, next we have Vampire Grace, which I guess is like the queen of the Vampires. Um, she's level 6, 2000 attack, 1200 defense. While this card is in your graveyard, when a level 5 or higher zombie type monster or monsters is special summoned to your side of the field by the effect of a zombie monster, so she will combo off a of shadow vampire, you can pay 2,000 life points to special this card from your graveyard. You only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn, you can declare one card type, monster, spell, or trap. Your opponent sends one card from that deck to the graveyard. So, yeah, that's actually pretty, that's pretty cool because she can just like, you know, vampire lore uh, has to do damage before they you know, send a card from that, whatever, this, this, Grace is like, yeah, you know what, monsters, you guys send a monster card, spells, straps, it, it's kind of a dick eating card, really, I like it a lot, um, too bad it's level 6, because that can go some exceed stuff, but I, I like the effect a lot, it's actually a pretty cool, uh, monster, I'll definitely be, I'll be trying, I'll definitely be trying her out, and the new vampire stuff, so, it's kind of cool, next up, we have the exceed vampire Brom the LD Reader, this thing's freaking awesome! I feel like I'm uh, like I'm getting Castlevania vibe here. Yeah, I'm getting fucking Castlevania vibe here, man. This is awesome. So it's a rank five big seed, two only five hundred attack, zero defense. Of course, two level five zombie type monsters. You can attach one material from this card, then target one monster in your opponent's graveyard and special that target to your side of the field. You only use the effect once per turn. 
That monster cannot declare an attack during the turn you activate this effect. So this thing is a freaking monster reborn on crack! This is fucking crazy! It's like, you know, I'm just, you know, um, what the... What, what's that go for? I'm guessing, I, I think Blue Eyes might be around to, by the time this comes out. So be like, hey, I, I like that Blue Eyes on Drag in the Green Park. Oh, you don't want me to take it? Well, fuck you, I'm gonna take it anyway. It's really nuts. During your standby phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or card effect, and since the graveyard, since your last standby phase, special this card from your graveyard and face up the defense position. I don't really see how well that would do. Because it's zero defense? Well, I guess you can strip it off then, it'd be kind of nice, so. But I really like the fact that it's a Monster Reborn, and it's a dark, so Shadow Vampire has its target, so I would definitely. This is a card that you should definitely be tech. Running at least two, at least in my opinion. Uh, next up, we have Vampire Empire. I see what you did, Akami. You sneaky bastards. So this is their fearless belt. Every like, is there like a trend now where every like new freaking archetype is going to get a goddamn field spell? Like it seems like every new dark archetype, or just any support for a dark archetype, seems to get a new field spell. Dark has got Gates of the Dark World. Arsene's got their new field spell, which I forgot the name of it is. Now the vampires have their field spell. And also you have the Ghost Troops with their Field Spell. So it's, so it's like, it's every darn attribute now going to get a Field Spell. So if Black Beats get new support, are they going to get a new Field Spell that's going to kick so much ass? It'll make people cry? Like, come on, Konami. So how about giving Field Spells to other R-types that hit some, where's my Bujin Field Spell? I want a Bujin Field Spell, goddammit! Eh, anyway. Zombie Monsters gain 500 stack during damage calculation only. So it's pretty much Skyscrapers, in a sense. Once per turn, when a card of cards is sent from your opponent's main deck to the graveyard, you can send one dark vampire monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, then target one card on the field and destroy it. So this is actually a pretty cool effect. Um, this will come a well off of Grace, since it allows you to send a monster from the hand. I mean, sends a mo allows you makes your opponent send a monster spell trap or a card from the deck to the graveyard. Um, now you can send a, one of your vampires from the graveyard, from the deck to the graveyard. And then destroy a card on the field. So that's actually a pretty cool uh, uh, little combination. I like that a lot. It will also combine with Vampire Lord. So, you know, this this card I can, I can, I can see seeing some play. I would definitely try it, of course. I'm trying all these cards and see what works and what doesn't. Uh, finally, for this Vampire Support, we have Vampire Shift, a normal trap card. If your field spell card zone is unused and the only face up monsters you control are zombie types, activate. One Vampire Emperor, Empire from your deck. Yeah. Then you can special one Dark Vampire Monster from your graveyard and face up to defense position. You can only use this once per turn. So, I get a free fail spell from my deck. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. Um, then the fact that you get to special a Vampire Monster from your graveyard, that is also pretty nice. And face up to defense position. Uh, because you can combine this with cards like Vampire Sorcerer, uh, which you get into defense mode. If it gets destroyed, you can search out. Uh, as well as you can go with, uh, see, that's normal summon, but you can special summon your Vampire Grace in defense mode. Uh, because it doesn't seem like it's level restrictive. No, it's just Dark Vampire, so it's not level restrictive. So you can bring like your Grace and say, hey, you know what? Send a goddamn fucking trap to your, to your graveyard. I don't care which one, just send one. So, that's actually pretty cool. So anyway, this is the new Vampire Support. I think it's pretty cool, and I cannot wait to try it out on Death Row. It's not on Death Row just yet, but I cannot wait to try it out. I will be having fun with it, and probably definitely some Death Row duels, whether live or probably, probably post-commentary stuff on Vampire stuff. So anyway, give me your thoughts on the new Vampire Support in the comment section below. And yeah, more videos like this to come because there's a lot of shit to fucking talk about in this set. Uh, anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and bye.